Hey, you two friends and family. I have lost my mind. It is 7.20 in the evening on day one still. I finally have the room fully cleared. I also went to Home Depot and got the paint and got what I had shook already. So, why well, I'm going to try to paint this room tonight. I'm going to at least get one or two coats on the wall, paint the ceiling. I ixnate on trying to sell a carpet because I don't feel like trying to protect it while I'm painting. It's free for all. Carpet is going and I am painting tonight the best I can while I'm tired and sleepy. About to have uh, some water, a cup of coffee, and get started. I've already pulled off the outlet covers, dusted the walls. I'll do cut work on Saturday. Like, as far as, you know, pulling these blinds down. Because we got a surprise for this wall back here. So I may even do a little bit of filming of whatever we're doing back here. So stay tuned. So tomorrow I'll come. We starting at 8 o'clock. But like I said, he'll, he will have laid two rooms by three, most likely. And he'll be gone to home. And I'm going to show you and update you. And I'm, he might even let me put him on camera. He's a handsome guy. So it might be a little bit of eye candy. So stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> so this is where we are right now. I'm about to burn this midnight oil. Stick with me so you can see the final results. But we ready. We working harder than ever. And we trying to get this done in four days. Then while he's laying this floor tomorrow, I'll be clearing the other room. So I, that'll be a whole separate series, even though it's simultaneous. So watch them both. All right. Stay tuned. I'm back. We started at 7, what it was, 720. It's now 846. I did put at least one sheet of plastic on the floor, just in case. Um, and I spackle the holes in the wall, the holes that, you know, I didn't mind covering up at this point in time. These are the only ones stained because I'm going to hang those shelves just where they were. Uh, <laughs> and as you can see, ooh, I struggle. I am going to pay for this tomorrow. Me and these old joints, bad shoulders. <sighs> it, this is hard. But again, we do what we must to save a quota. Uh, $275, that's what it would have been. So I'm going to do it myself. So, um... I got something else I can use that 275 on. But I did the ceiling. This is the best I'm going to do the ceiling. And in my opinion, it looks better than what I pay people to do. So I am um, done with the ceiling. Now to tackle the walls with my favorite color. My whole house is going to be ginger sugar for the most part. Um, when I went to try to pick a beige... Oh, I couldn't decide. In fact, let me show you what I was looking at. One second. Okay, so I was looking at these colors. Um, Harvest Brown, Mushroom Bisque. And this camera does not do any of these colors justice. Pure Earth. And basketry, which is a pretty popular color. Cameraman picked basketry. So I couldn't decide. So I said, I'm going to do ginger sugar, but we got a surprise for this wall over here. So stay tuned. We're going to do keep doing these time checks. And yes, it's more paint on me, just as much paint on me. I ain't even looked at my head. I'm not getting on camera, but I'm, I got paint all over me. So this is where we are. Hey, you two friends and family. I'm going to have to touch up the ceiling. I see a bunch of missing spots. It's now 1030, around 1030 at night. But I did get the three walls done. I'm 4'11". I did not bring in my six-foot ladder so I could cut in. I do have the little um, edge roller. But, of course, I didn't get to that either. I'm still trying to get the paint on the walls first. And then we'll see what happens from there. Um, I'm tired. I am so freaking tired. 
But I did get, like I say, most of it done. I still, you see up there, I still need to cut in the window. I didn't want to take down the blinds and all that at, at nighttime and have people just looking straight through here in at night like this. So I say I'll wait on that. I still got to, like I say, get the tall ladder and get the tops. But tomorrow is tile day. And again, I will update you and add to this tomorrow. But I do think, like I say, I need another coat and the trim out and then that wall is a whole nother color and i was not playing in another color but a painting tip i did go ahead and spring the nine dollars for the for ten a ten what these paint trays so i did go ahead and pay for those because i knew i would be painting at night and these can just be tossed in the trash and as i change color i just change the tray and keep it moving so this is what I use this evening. I'm not going outside to wash anything. I just wash the brush in the sink. You wrap the, sometimes the rollers will be okay if you wrap them tightly in plastic and they'll still be wet tomorrow. So I'm trying that because I still got, you know, to clear the other room and I'll be painting another area tomorrow while he's working on the tile. I won't come back in here to paint until it is grouted and ready to go. And then I'll really have to cover up. But like I said, all I needed was, see, I can see patches. But I see that where I paid someone to paint too. It's just not as prominent. So I do, like I say, need to go with uh, one more coat of sealing too. But that's it. I'm about to take me a shower. Get me a big old thing of ice water and go to bed I, and take my medicine and go to bed. I am so tired. I hope I'm able to move in the morning. Admit some Advil I'll leave to the night's regimen because I'm going to feel this tomorrow. This was difficult. It's been a minute, but and I'm not used to, to doing rooms this tall. <sighs> so that that increased the difficulties. I hope I don't regret it's too bad in the morning, but I got to get up and get moving and we going to get it done. Yes, we are. So stay tuned for tomorrow tile day. Hey, y'all. So he got here about 830. I had the floor cleared, of course, from my painting adventures last night. That's still empty. And um, half the floor is done. And he's going to do two floors, two rooms today. It's 1142. So he may take until 435 to do both rooms. This is a more complicated pattern, but this man is so fast. He's so precision. It's like boom, 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 boom. He had to unload the truck and everything. The tile's been sitting on the truck, but he had to unload and all that too. So that took a little time. But he loaded this stuff in here. He getting it going. Look at this floor. Halfway done. And this room turned out to be, we measured 13 by 12. 13 by 12. The other one is like 12 by 10 or 12 by 11 or something like that with the closet and everything. So, trust me, from 8.30, he will be gone by 5. <laughs> And all the floors will be laid. He will come back tomorrow and grout for maybe an hour or two. And we done. Then back to the projects. <sighs> I'm wearing myself out. Now I'm clearing the other room. I'm almost done because I'm racing against him and he fast. So I'm struggling here. I'm sweating. I'm working up a sweat. I ain't even had breakfast. I grabbed a muffin. I made some muffins two days ago. Just ate one of those muffins. I ain't had no coffee. Still going. And I'm going to finish too. But I am crying about all this junk. I, I'm getting rid of a lot of it. Goodwill finna get a truckload. But okay. Stay tuned for the rest. I'll try to catch them on camera later.
Am I going to have enough towel? Okay. Okay. Hey, YouTube friends and family. So we are at the end of day four. The paint is done. The one color is done. The trim still needs to be done. The baseboards and like the window seal needs to still be done. And this wall needs to be the color it's gonna be. This 3D accent wall or whatever it's called. So this was the simpler one. I might actually try it again. Again, I had somebody to help me do this. So it was $120 for the MD Prime MDF, nine 12 foot pieces. And then it was two tubes of caulk and some nails. So it was about a $150 project. And then once you add the paint in there, it's 50 more dollars or 40, 40 more dollars. And I'm paying somebody a hundred bucks to do it. So, um, nice little simple plan. Simple, easy. One, well, it was like two cuts because it's two, we did them six feet, but the 12 foot was a little bit longer than 12 foot, some of them. So they had to be cut down to six feet each and meet in the middle and then the little measurements for the wall. So, I'm not revealing the color. You'll see the color at the end. But this is day four. I'm going to take a shower. Even the ceiling looks even a lot better, even though the edges aren't that great. But we're going to let that go for now. I'm, I'm over it. I am so over it. Those ceilings just suck up paint. And with the texture, it's so hard to paint. But yeah, we um have taken care of it. I had a helper. I will admit, because I am just like not that tall. I'm 4'11", dealing with 10-foot ceilings, playing on ladders. It's just not my thing. It's not my thing. But it turned out very good. It was an easy project. We even notched out where the outlet cover needs to go. And it's going to look good. It's going to look good. So same couches. And you'll see. You'll see the... Final reveal soon. Looks good. I'm very pleased. Now, I do need to go in and fill those nail holes with caulk. I do see that. We skipped that step, but we did caulk around the edge of the, the um, boards where they connect to the wall. But the nail holes still need to be caulked, too. Other than that, it's, it's coming along real nice. And it's going to be so pretty. This little feature. Since there's no cabinets going here, this is what we're doing. Alrighty, stay tuned for the final reveal. I'll probably do this in one video because I don't think it's going to be that long. But yeah, I'm all sweaty and covered in paint. So no, nah, I'm not getting on camera looking like this. Bye-bye. Stay tuned. Hey, YouTube friends and family. Here we are on day six. Day six, but the painting is finally going to be completed. It is like, what, 5.30 in the afternoon, 5 o'clock-ish. And the painter got here at 12 to paint this accent wall about 12.30 and did the baseboards. Uh, it's Derek's custom painting in Jacksonville. Florida, if you want to hit him up, just ask me in the comments below and I'll pass on his phone number. But he went on and painted this for me because um, 4, 11, and 10 foot ceilings, 4 feet, 11 inches tall, and 10 foot ceilings do not mix. And I wouldn't have never been able to finish this. So the black wall was completed by him. The trim and baseboards was completed by him. Once he finishes, I'm going to mop this floor, scrape up any little paint drops, mop the floor, and load the room back up. It's still some special projects that may be finished, may not be finished this week, but I'll start loading this series up and stay tuned for the end. But I will end the series after I load some of the furniture back. We'll end this particular part of the series. But 
it's coming along nicely. I love it. Now, it's like if you give a mouse a cookie. Look, I want to change the lighting. Anybody want to sponsor me on some lighting? Hit me up. The email is in my bio.